and go, hello, I'm Fu Gur from China's Douyin, or TikTok. My wife makes video on there, and for this one, I figure I'd give some commentary. Now, we made a video because Oprah interviewed dude, Harry and Meghan, and it's pretty hot and popular. So not just in the West, but it is also actually very popular and talked about in China. But one of the main takeaways here is a bit different. Uh, to them, it doesn't matter so much if the royal family was being bad or mean into Meghan and Harry. We're actually not going to talk about if it's true or not. We're just going to talk about that idea because you're never supposed to go against your family here. So it is a very different thing. I just uh, talk about uh, Harry and Meghan. Mm -hmm. They against uh, the royal family. Oh. Yeah, and uh, I think Harry is stupid. That is uh, his family. He born and grew up uh, from that family, and just married a woman. And this woman, if someday she left him, they divorce. How can he go back family? Of course, Harry chooses Meghan. He he chose Meghan. You don't choose your family. You choose who you marry, though. So why wouldn't he choose his Megan? If they're being bad to uh, him, then he chooses her. It's like you, you can't plan. He can't be like, oh, if she divorced me. It's like, are you planning on getting a divorce? No. You love her. You choose her. So in China, there is a classic question. If your mother and wife both need to be saved, and you can only save one, who would you save? Well, in China, the correct answer is your mother. Now, the reasons they give for this are usually she has given so much to you, you owe it to her. Like she raised you, she gave birth to you, she has sacrificed a lot for you. Next one is you will only ever have one mother, but you can get another wife. I actually find that kind of weird, but that's, that's a reason sometimes they give. Uh, the last one is your mother will never leave you, but your wife might. I know for some people they know that's not true. And I actually don't think it matters in this one because you don't really plan for your wife to leave you. So again, you can kind of see I already don't agree with this and I give my reasoning in the video here. And uh, you always ask in China, it's like, oh, if there's water and your mother is on one side of an island, your wife is another, who are you going to save? And all Western men will say, I'm saving my wife. Because really? that's who you choose, yes. Not save your mommy? No, why would I save my mom? Because uh, she gave your life and raised you up. Yeah, and she'd want me to be happy. Yeah, she'd want me to choose my, my wife. My mom is the past. She's had her kids. She's had a long life. She's happy that she'd be happy to die to know that I live and be happy and, and, would, and maybe make her some grandkids. <laughs> A, a, a mother wanting you to choose just her that says just being selfish I love, love you too so in the video I said all western men and I was being very broad so I'm actually wondering what you would think so please comment below tell me what you think think would you Save your mother, or would you save your significant other? This doesn't have to be just for men, it can be for women, whatever. Please let me know. That's it. Same thing, if we went to Canada, and my family was really mean to you and really bad to you, I'd, I'd say bye family. Bye bye family? Yeah, I would. Yeah. If they want, if that's, that's, it's not that I'm choosing to leave them. They're choosing to cut uh, ties with me. Their their actions are showing they don't care about me enough to be good to a person I love. <laughs> love you too. Now, just to be clear, I don't have any problems with my family. I do love them. I don't see this coming up. But if I did go to Canada and they were so mean to my wife that she became depressed and suicidal, yeah, I would cut them out of my life. It, it's just how it is. Um, it wouldn't be that hard either for me because I do live on the other side of the world, so that's just a thing. 
So this last part is showing the receipts. Uh, a long time ago, we actually asked my mom this question. And we had to change it, of course, because they usually stay in water here, but my mom can swim, so that was her answer. Um, but she also said, yeah, I, I agree with yours that you sh should save your wife. Uh, now, I want her to tell me if she's changed her mind on that, but I don't think she has. And uh, for people who know my mom and are wondering, yeah, I think she would save her dogs rather than me. She says no, but I don't believe her for one second. Mom and wife are both at the same time falling into the sea. This is a problem that can hurt Chinese men. But for a foreigner, this is a problem that doesn't require any hesitation. Because last year, I asked my grandmother, I said, if you fall into the sea, who will you save? She said, that I will save you 100% of you. This is a problem that you don't need to think about. 他说：“就把这个问题抛给妈妈，她也会让我救你。”他虎了吧唧的，就真跑家里那个群里问他妈妈去了。他说：“我媳妇问我，如果你和他同时掉水里，让我救谁？”但是妈妈说：“妈妈当时想说来的，呃，他会游泳。”但是后来想一想说，说假如要都不会游泳的话，那我肯定还是让儿子去救媳妇儿，因为毕竟我已经有了一个整个的完美的人生，我有了孩子。已经经历过、享受过了一切，但是你呢？更年轻，还有很长很长的人生去经历，而且将来会有宝宝，要用他的未来的人生去养育他自己的宝宝，带大孩子们。其实外国人他们问这类问题，不会问你两个人掉到水里怎么样，他们会问一个悬崖，两个人都扒在悬崖的两边，只能去救一个，去救会救谁 ？Keep being awesome, you crazy possum.